As sea levels rise and weather patterns change the environment around them, Pacific Island communities need tools and mechanisms to understand what is happening and to determine what they can do sustainably without maladaptation to meet the threat of climate change and the challenges of economic development, population growth and food security. The International Climate Initiative funded Pacific Ecosystem Based Adaptation to Climate Change Project PBAC, is an attempt to address this in three Pacific Island countries, Fiji, Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands. The PBAC project trialed a new approach referred to as Ecosystem and Socioeconomic Resilience Analysis and Mapping or SRAM. SRAM studies were conducted at national, provincial, island and local levels in all three participating countries and were the first time such an extensive assessment had been undertaken to guide ecosystem-based adaptation implementation in the Pacific region. Ecosystem-based adaptation is a holistic approach to adaptation planning that seeks to harness the potential of healthy ecosystems and biodiversity to strengthen social and economic resilience. The SRAM studies provided the scientific basis for discussions with communities in determining ecosystem-based adaptation options so that communities could contextualize and apply their traditional knowledge to make systemic change and build resilience. PBAC has four main areas of focus. One, ecosystem-based management using a catchment-based ridge-to-reef approach. Two, establishment of community-based protected areas. Three, groundwater resource management and four, urban greening. In the Madawata province of Fiji, a ridge to reef approach was taken. Communities and farmers needed to understand how the health of waterways flowing through intensively farmed areas into the sea impacts the health of Fiji's second Ramsar site, Golingoli Dokovata, 134,000 hectares of traditionally owned fishing grounds. On the island of Taviuni, a whole island approach was taken to improve agricultural soil and water catchment health through native tree reforestation and agroforestry, as well as the introduction of alternative income opportunities. In Vanuatu, the PBEC project worked to restore and reforest the riparian zone of the Lower Tagabe River of Port Vila and also along the greater Port Vila coastline. On the world-famous island of Tana, PBAC supported the establishment of the Port Resolution Community Conservation Area, which includes both terrestrial and marine components, reef and forest surveys, training of marine champions and the development of a toolkit, as well as alternative livelihood activities. In the Solomon Islands, for the approximately 2,000 people that live on the island of Wagina, Managing and preserving their groundwater resources was identified by the SRAM studies as an important step towards building their resilience to climate change. To conserve and maintain the upper water catchment areas of Honiara's main water sources, the PBEC project helped establish the 5,000 hectare Barana Nature and Heritage Park, which is managed by the Barana community, who are the traditional landowners of this area. Recognizing that urban spaces play an important role in providing shade, air and noise reduction in cities, the PBEC project restored and revitalized the 19 hectares of the Honiara Botanical Garden. It has also provided input to the broader waste management program through the launch of the National Waste and Pollution Control Strategy. There is still much work to be done to support governments and communities in using the PBEC approach. And for this reason, the multi-donor Kiwa Initiative will be funding a four-year PBAC Phase 2 beginning in 2021, which will, in addition to Fiji, Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands, also include New Caledonia and Wallace and Fortuna. <laughs>